on the Channel Tunnel off to France fishing Labyrinth um, on a trip that uh, Kevin Ellis organised. Um, we've been looking forward to, well, I've been looking forward to this trip for the uh, best part of two years now. Um, it's been fishing quite well. I think there's been about 40 fish out last week. Um, so I can't wait to get there. It's mid-September 2019. The weather is forecast for warm, light northerly winds up to about 25, 26 degrees. Um, I've no idea whether it's going to remain like that all week. The weather forecast says it is. So we shall see. This is the uh, second morning now, it's Tuesday, and while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, I've had a good night's kip, but I've had no action, so I don't know how anyone else has done, I haven't heard anything, I heard a few good fish crash out in the night, but I'm obviously a bit disappointed and a little bit shocked because I uh, thought I might have something. Let's uh, look around. There's the old house. Okay. All baits are out for the night. I have two baits in this bay. You may be able to see two yellow markers on the left hand side. Um, the furthest one has got one bait on. The front one has no bait on. I've just baited it up. Um, and I've also got a marker Platform, you might be able to see it glinting in the sun there.
shovel, you played your games I'm trying to move on, can you do the same? Yeah, I'm just trying to break out now Oh, I got a new horizon, don't wait for me sunset all we need now is a co-op well it happened um, it's 25 past 6 and I lost it um, about an hour ago I suppose maybe a little less had a run and it was savage. I, I, I hooked it, felt it, and it was just, it was just manic. Um, weeded me up, so I calmed down, put the rod down, got my life jacket on, got the net in the boat, got the rod in the boat, got out in there, wound all the way to the weed bed, and it was, it was huge thick weed um, and I had to pull it up by hand and I could feel it was there and then I got the leader knot onto the reel and I thought right I'm going to give pick the rod up again and start pulling with the rod and try and clear the weed some more Anyway, just I just just adjusted my position, and I went to grab the rod, and I could hear it pulling across the side of the boat. So I realised the fish was back in touch, and in that that split second between me grabbing the rod, which I did, the fish just broke the leader. Um, I think it probably caught on something on the boat on the side of the boat which caused it to snap because it snapped um, my side of the rod tip if you, if you know what I mean it, it, it was only a short bit of leader left on the reel line uh, uh, I've got no words well here we are on the last day um, this has been yeah, the weather conditions for the whole week. Beautiful if you're sunbathing, not too hot, <laughs> not too good if you're fishing. Um, the weather is due to change in the next few hours. Southwesterlies, pressure drop, cloudy skies. We are going to have a 12 hour window before we leave where the weather is favourable. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. I'm going to change a couple of rods. Um, obviously the, the take, the rod that I had the take on and lost the fish, I'm going to leave that where it is. Um, that will become my left hand rod. My right hand rod I will leave on the spot that I've been fishing it on all week which will leave the inner pair of rods the right hand rod of that pair and the left hand rod of that pair and I'm going to go out in the boat 40 or 50 yards and 
fish have been showing there. There's a bit of bubbling going on there now, actually. Don't know if you can see that. Um, and I'm going to look to see if it's clear. I've, I've had a cast around and there are clear spots there. And if I can find a spot that's clear, I'm going to put two baits on it and a bucket full of particles because I'm not taking them home and just see what happens.